Dungeons and Dragons with STS. Season 1 Recap Thrymdradius, a half elf druid, and Darrow Del Danton, a half elf ranger, meet in a mysterious tavern called the Warrior's Respite. Thrym steals a coin from Darrow. This is their awkward first meeting. Thrym notices everyone in the bar has tattoos. Darrow and Thrym don't have tattoos. Very strange. Thrym smokes a pipe given to him by a mysterious stranger named Trent. He passes out. Darrow drinks some alcohol. He passes out. Thrym and Darrow awaken falling into the middle of a lake. They make their way to shore. They are confused. They notice two signs, one with a blue arrow pointing left, and one with a purple arrow pointing right. They also notice they both now have blue tattoos. They go down the blue road. After meeting some odd guards, they are told to make their way to the blue keep. Along the way, they see a massive serpent-like monster in the distance. At the keep, a guard named Semi escorts them to see Lord Trent, leader of Blue Faction. They learn many things from Trent. There are two keeps, blue and purple. Each have a chalice, and they are at war. They meet many characters. Pilkin, a gnome wizard. Marl, a human and blue faction master of arms. And Dev, an elven archery trainer. Thrym steals a diary from Dev. It is written in a strange language he can't interpret. Darrow and Thrym are curious about the blue faction chalice, and go onto the upper level of the keep and greet the guards. Thrym tries to sneak past the guards. They see him. Thrym gets his head chopped off. Very sad. Darrow throws sand into the eyes of one of the guards. He gives up after watching Thrym die. Darrow is thrown into the dungeon after the altercation. Whilst incarcerated, Darrow meets an elf named Fagin. He is very mean. After many days, Dev confronts Darrow in his cell, shooting an arrow by his head. She wants her diary back, and assumes Darrow has it. He doesn't. After a few days, Darrow slips into a mysterious darkness. Still aware, but blind. A mysterious voice speaks to him. He is given specific rules to follow, and then awakens to find himself once again in the tavern, the Warrior's Respite. Darrow has a cousin named Graeme. Graeme is concerned as to where his cousin has gone. He goes out to search for him. Graeme discovers a mysterious tavern after following Darrow's trail. Graeme finds Darrow. Darrow is acting odd, explaining that he is a bouncer at the tavern. Graeme tries in vain to cajole Darrow to come home. Darrow clubs Graeme over the head, knocking him unconscious. Graeme awakens falling into a lake. He swims to shore. He has a blue tattoo, so he follows the blue road. Graeme meets Trent. Graeme asks about Darrow. Graeme is sent to talk to Darrow in the dungeon. Fagin is still a jerk. Darrow and Graeme are tasked with ridding the dungeon of some pesty grubs in exchange for Darrow's freedom. They succeed, killing three giant grubs. They are allowed free access to the rest of the keep, but not the chalice room. After the duo discuss the situation, they decide to get the journal Thrym had stolen from Dev. They find Thrym's corpse, acquire the diary, and make their way back to the keep. Dev confronts them along the way and shoots Darrow with an arrow. She demands that she have the diary back. Darrow and Graham successfully lie that they don't have it. Dev apologizes and runs off. Darrow and Graham cross the bridge to re-enter the keep. A fat guard suspiciously bumps into Darrow. The guard runs off. Darrow realizes he's missing a dagger. The duo speak to the gnome wizard Pilkin, and after some intimidation, Pilkin gives them a decoder to translate the diary. They also learn the diary belongs to another gnome, named Mixlick, Pilkin's brother, and that Mixlick is part of a group of neutrals who stay aloof from the war between blue and purple faction. They read the diary, and learn the neutrals require some obsidian so they can finish construction of a drill that could drill through some outer wall. Darrow and Graham convince Pilkin to travel with them by helping him find his lost pet rat, Finkel. They all leave for the mountains to the north, where they believe the neutrals reside. After entering the mountains, fighting slimes and avoiding traps, the four find the neutral camp. A neutral thief named Horus joins the party in an effort to help them find an obsidian shard. Rumor has it a halfling cannibal leader to the south uses one on his spear. They enter the forest, find the cannibals, and succeed their mission. However, Horus is separated from the group, which is bad, because he had the obsidian shard. Darrow, Graham, and Pilkin begin heading back north, only to see that the blue and purple faction armies are moving to battle over some food that inexplicably appeared in the wasteland. Suddenly a rumbling occurs, and a giant object falls from the sky, crashes to the ground, and lets loose a flood of hot liquid. Many die, and many are injured. Darrow, Graham, and Pilkin flee north, empty-handed. 
Back in the neutral camp, a guard discovers that Horus's body has washed up on the banks of their underground river. They retrieve the spear from the river bottom, and Mixlick attaches it to the drill. The drill breaches the crystalline wall, and Darrow and Graham make their way out. 